Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. Now this will work for you guys on every platform, but today I am playing on mobile. Now this will work on Xbox, this will work on PC, this will work on PC on Steam and PS5 and every platform as I said. I'm out here catching myself some catfish. I'm here in Maron River. Now I am finally level 63. I have caught one or two fish, so I've leveled up a little bit from level 63, but I am still level 63, and I thought I'd come in here and bring you guys another video. Now, of course, in this place I have shown hotspots before. I've dedicated my life to this game over six and a half years playing, and I absolutely love it. I'm proper addicted. Now, sometimes we show new games, old games, from pre-ordered games, but the main one for me is Fishing Planet. And of course, if the, if that's the same for you guys, if you love Fishing Planet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Always let let you guys know, or I try my best to let you guys know as quick as possible when those new updates come. I'll let you guys know about the update, what's going to be in the update, and of course, I'll always live stream the the new maps that drop. I'll always live stream those with a face camera mic, letting you guys know new hotspots, completing new missions, and showing you all of the new awesome stuff they add into the game. <sighs> I'm max level on PC on Steam and on console, but I'm not on mobile yet. So, yeah, level 63. I've got a long grind to go. And I think I kind of brought you guys in at the right moment, if I'm honest, because I'm thinking this one could be a unique. If it's not, it's going to at least be a trophy. Now, since the last video, I've grinded a lot. I've just been playing an insane amount of hours. I have brought a new net, so now, well, I had, I think it was around about 700,000 cash that I ended up spending. So I had a big, massive spend up. Because I had uh, just a little over 700,000 and I pretty much come into this place with nothing. And I'm not sure how much cash I've got now. But I'm again on that cash grind and looking for that XP grind. The next level opens up for me or the next lake opens up for me at level 68. And I'm only level 63. So it's going to take me a short minute to get there. But we will get there. And obviously... Moving into the next lake, that probably is going to be our next video, but I've shown hotspots of all different lakes, and we also do have a playlist of just Fishing Planet. There you will find all fish missions, all fish monster missions, everything has been completed. And there it is, the unique red tail catfish. That's a short video right there. Subscribe, YouTube Bowls Way. <laughs> That's some pretty good cash. 20, well, XP should I say. 23,871. That gave me a massive XP boost. And of course, 15,841 cash. Now that's what I'm talking about. And that's two uniques in this one day that I've caught, I think. Let me have a look here. Fish Keeper. Yeah, it is. So I had a, oh wow, okay, three uniques so far. So the Sorbian Catfish, that's not a very big one, but... The unique gilded catfish there we got, and of course the red tail. I personally myself prefer the red tail catfish. I just, I don't know why, I just think they they look that little bit better. So I'm going to show you how far I've been casting out here. And as I said, this will work whether you're on mobile or console or PS4, or whatever. Now, the easiest way to probably do this is probably on a boat if i'm honest fishing off a boat which i'm probably yeah in fact yeah i'll probably make a couple of videos in this place in maron and then um yeah and then obviously after that when we level up a little bit that'll be in the next lake as well but i'm going to show you where i spawned in so i'm here and where my guy is lit up orange i'm standing there with my rod and the fish in his hand and you spawn in just around here, you'll see this bit here. And I've spawned in, and you'll see this. You could not miss that little canoe there. That's always there, you're not able to move it. And I've just set up beside it there, and I've been casting out that way. So let's set a marker for that last fish that we just caught. Uh, press that one, yes. 
There you go. So unique red tail catfish. If we zoom in, I've got a couple of markers there. So there is the one that we just caught. Unique red tail catfish. Now some of these do go up. That's 149 pounds. Some of these do get a lot, lot bigger than that. They are kind of hard to see way out there as well because it is a little bit of a distance. So I've got 615 foot of line on that reel there. Now I'm going to show you all my rod setups as well, just in case anyone is interested. And I've also been pulling in some of those uniques on the good old heavy chasers as well. So... I've had a big spend up, as I said, I had 700,000 cash. I bought a new bigger net. I bought three of these La Cazador rods. And I bought three new reels. And I'm going to show you those setups real quick. So on here, this reel, I can't max drag this reel on this setup here. But that's that setup. This one is set to max drag. Max drag is where I'm able to put everything to maximum without the line completely snapping or breaking. And then on this one here, I've got the, yeah, this, the, this is a max drag setup. That's the heavy chaser. I'm not, I haven't been using my spinning rod. And then there's this one here again, this reel, I can't use max drag, but this one here, is it this one? Hold on. Um, maybe it might have been the first one. I don't even... I don't even remember which one it was now. Oh, gosh. All right, well, I'm going to have to pick up the rod. I will show you. There's one, one of these I've got set. One of these Cazador rods I've got set to max drag. And the line does not snap. Or break so it's not that one it's gonna be the last one I pick up isn't it okay no it's not as this one all right let me reel in this one and then we'll see what reel we got on this rod <laughs> reel in this let's see what reel all right let's check it out let's go to there okay so this one okay so it was the first one I thought it was the first one but I wasn't 100% sure. So this reel here that I've got on there, this one I can max drag. Everything on here is perfect. So that reel is at 66.1 pound. And then the line I've got at 69.5. And then the leader is stronger as well at 70.5. And the rod itself is 68.3. So that... I can max drag that rod perfectly fine. Now, I've been using some 9 ots. I was using the 6 because the 6 is the optimal size. But the 6, I was getting more smaller fish, not always getting that unique. So, I've decided to put 9 ots on and that's seeming to work out pretty good. Now, I've been using duck muscle meat, um, large minnows. What else have I been using? Large cut bait. These catfish are pretty greedy. They, <laughs> they're not too, too fussy on what they eat, to be honest. And all of those baits that I mentioned, they are literally all of them I have caught unique. Uh, the, the gilded and, um, and the red-tailed catfish. Wow, I really had to think about that. I'm sorry, it's early hours in the morning. And the best thing about playing on mobile is that I'm laying down and I'm chilling. <laughs> and, of course, I'm half asleep. In fact, that was probably the... Yeah, it was good that I hit record when I did because, obviously, we managed to start off on a unique. But as I hit record, I was probably ready to go to sleep at that point. But that's all right. We're here on that YouTube grind. The grind does never stop. Let's cast that one out. Got a proper glare there on the screen. And when I zoom in, look at that. There you go. That's a bit better. So I did drive around a little bit here in Maron River. And it does look absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, I've seen all of these lakes because I'm max level on the console and max level on PC on Steam. But it's nice to see what it looks like on mobile. And on mobile, it does. The graphics do look pretty good. Now, I'm, I'm using an iPhone 11 
and it's a 64 gig and I've got the graphics cranked up pretty high. In fact, I probably am going to show you that in a second. Yeah, let's quickly show you that now. Let's reel this one in. I think, I don't think it's set to a completely maximum graphics, but almost. We'll have a look. But it does look pretty decent, to be fair. Look at that. That does look pretty good. Now, when I reset the graphics, of course, it will restart the game. So I can't change anything. Okay, at the minute, I haven't got everything up to its best. But that's just what I'm using right now. And that's running quite smooth. Graphics quality is on good. Anti-analyzing is on low. Dynamic water, I always like that as high. Oh, yeah. And, of course, that last one there. Let's go back onto that. So the post FX, I've got that on as well. Now, of course, it can look a lot better. But if I do that, it's going to end up loading me out of the game. But when I play at these settings, I don't really, uh, I don't really have any freeze ups. I don't really have any slow mos or anything like that. If I ever do, it's only because my internet is being a bit buggy. Now. If it's not running smooth, we did show a video before on graphic settings, how to get things to run smoothly and stuff. Again, that video is in our playlist of Just Fishing Planet. You could always check it out. Now, every rod's going to end up going off here, isn't it? All right, so this is the one that I've got set to max drag, so now I can show you. That's perfect. Now, as you can see, those red bars there are set up to the maximum. But it will not snap, it will not break, and that's the way I like to fish. That's that's my ideal way of fishing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reel this in in time to grab one of those other rods. But I did say, once I get this one, every other rod is going off. And they are, apart from one. <laughs> that's typical, that's the way, the way it always is. They do fight a little bit here for a for a short minute sometimes. This one was a little bit quicker. There you go, another red tail. Not very big, but at the moment I need XP and I need cash, so I don't really mind about the size as much. And as soon as I go to... Yeah, there you go. That's normally the way it is. That's a continuous thing. You definitely will lose more fish than you, than you will catch. That's just the way it is. Is that still on there, that... I'm not sure. Yeah, I didn't think it was, but I saw the tip of the rod bent over a little bit. I wasn't wasn't quite sure on that. All right, so we got 407 pounds in the net. Uh, let's go over here to our inventory. So we have one, two, three unique fish and, well, a unique catfish. And that gives us 39,761 cash. That's not bad. And that's only, well, it's just under halfway of my net full. So in one day, one day's fishing, I definitely, I could definitely pull 100,000 cash here. Uh, that That's definitely doable. Easily, easily doable for sure. All right, let's get out our max drag one. This is the reel that i prefer so with the other ones i did get a little bit of a stronger reel and i well i brought them but i brought the wrong ones <laughs> so i have got to change them and get the the weaker reel like i have on there because these two what these two rods here they've got a stronger reel on which yeah doesn't allow me to max drag i'm one bar away from that max drag Anyway, I think that's going to be pretty much it for this one. A little bit of fishing in Maron River. We are now level 63. As I said, I'm going to probably make a couple of videos, other videos in this place. And obviously me being on the boat, there's a couple of other spots I want to show you for fishing for catfish as well. So there'll be a few more in this place. But then when I get to level 68, we can head over and go catch ourselves some sharks. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out for that one. And of course, leave your comments in the comment section below. I always try my best to respond to every comment. Don't take it personally if I don't respond to you. I have over a thousand videos on YouTube, so it is kind of hard. to. Sp I spend more time now 
replying to comments than I do editing. It is kind of hard to respond to every comment, but I do try my best. And smack that like button, of course, if you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Oh, we can't end. We can't. We're not allowed. It doesn't matter. We can just we we can't end like that. So as you can see here, down there on the bottom right, this is what I was saying. Down there on that bottom right, I've got one away from the top. If I push that plus button down there on the bottom right, that will max drag, which means that the bars will go up to the red, but it will end up breaking off the leader and stuff. So, yeah, I can't max drag this one. But that's all right. It does take a short minute to get it in, the same as it does with the with the heavy chaser. But we are lifting dead weight, and that's the thing with these catfish. They're not so much insanely fast. They're just more because they're so chunky. <laughs> yeah, because they're big fellas. There you go. That's probably the better way. I don't know. Because they're big. It Yeah, it takes that little bit longer to reel them in. And this part here can sometimes drive me a little bit crazy. It can take a short minute to reel it in there sometimes. But there you go. There's another quick, small, red tail catfish. As I said, I think these ones look better. I prefer these ones. They definitely do look better. Look at that. That looks nice. All right. On that note, that's where we end. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.